In this tutorial, we will look at an important aspect of object-oriented programming, inheritance. Topics we will cover include composition, inheritance hierarchies, and access levels. In the video description, you can get the complete coding example for this lesson by clicking on the link. This video is a follow-up from my previous video, Intro to Objects. If you aren't familiar with objects and classes, you may want to see the introductory video first. Inheritance is the process of passing the attributes and behaviors of one class down to descendant classes. For example, you can start with a class like Reptile and have its descendants be Snake and Alligator. Although Snake and Alligator have different attributes and behaviors, both classes are derived from the same Reptile class. Composition is the process of making one class a data member of another class. In a way, one class is embedded in the functionality of another. For example, you could have a class called Band. The data members of Band could consist of objects from the Guitarist class, Drummer class, and Vocalist class. None of these classes are derived from each other. Instead, one class is using the objects of external class. Inherited classes are commonly described as having an is-a relationship with each other, while a composition involves a has-a relationship between classes. We can say that snake is a reptile and that alligator is a reptile, but we cannot say that guitarist is a band. Instead, we say that the band has a guitarist. Sometimes, a friend function is included in the method declarations of a class. The friend function is not a true member of the class. Instead, it is the signature of a function that is external to the class. The keyword friend lets the function have access to the private data members of the class. Friend functions are commonly used for overriding the IO stream operators so that you can print the contents of an object using the double angle brackets rather than a local print method. In the previous video, we looked at three kinds of access specifiers in C++. Private, public, and protected. Remember that private data members are only accessible to the class that contains these members. By contrast, public data members are accessible from outside the class. Protected is like private plus. Only the parent and the child classes have access to the protected members of the parent class. Note that the direction of inheritance is hierarchical and one-directional. Derived classes have access to all the protected members of a parent class, but the parent classes don't have access to the members of their child classes. Here's an example. Suppose we have a class named quadrilateral. This class is the template from which we build four-sided polygon objects. To demonstrate inheritance, let's give the quadrilateral class a child called rectangle. Rectangle objects have all the attributes of quadrilateral with one additional property. Rectangles not only have four sides, the interior angles must each be 90 degrees. Let's make another child class of quadrilateral called trapezoid. Like rectangle, Trapezoid has the attributes of quadrilateral. Trapezoid inherits the traits of quadrilateral, plus the trait of having a parallel top and bottom. For fun, let's create a class called Square. Square inherits all the attributes of rectangle and gains the requirement of having side lengths all be the same length. To learn more about object-oriented programming in C++, please see the next video in the series, Polymorphism. To get the complete coding example for the tutorial you just watched, please visit the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.